So this is the After Prison Show studio. There's the wall that I'm always filming in front of. But all of this is about to move. We're getting ready to move all of this out of here and we're gonna be uh, rearranging this place a little bit because Cody is actually gonna be moving in. And when Dave comes home from jail, well, he'll probably be living here as well. Give you guys a little more of a tour of what we're doing. There's Cody at work. What are you working on? A uh, new banner. Cody's putting together a new after prison show banner right now. Yeah, I don't like that at all. You're gonna have to start all over. I'm kidding, it looks good. So anyways, here's our major setup. Takes pretty much all of this to make after prison show happen. There's some lights. There's more lights. There's Peaches. Hey, Peaches. Peaches. Aggie. Oh, you almost answered to it. Peaches. Peaches. Aggie. And the new after prison show studio is going to be over here. We're going to turn this entire area over here into studio a and that's where i'm going to be filming in front of from now on because the room upstairs cody's going to be living in that room so that's a quick little tour and now it's time to do this video what did they get locked up for i think you guys are going to like this a lot i'm actually going to set all of this up right now What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video we're going to play a little game. In fact, I'm going to be showing you some pictures of some individuals who are locked up and we're going to try to figure out and have you guys guess what did they get locked up for. And I can promise you one thing, you will be completely surprised about a few of these individuals you will see in this video. So without further ado, what do you say we just dive head first into this video so let's go ahead and take a look at this first individual in this video and this guy right here what do you think he honestly got locked up for now looking at this guy he looks kind of crazy maybe he was drunk maybe he got a dui or something or maybe he has far heinous charges than that but just looking at this guy's mugshot what exactly do you think he did to get locked up i really want you guys to comment down below letting me know exactly what you think because as i look at this guy i can't help but to think this guy looks like gohan from Dragon Ball Z. So because of that, I'm thinking that he did something pretty damn crazy. Do you guys see the resemblance here between this guy and Gohan, Dragon Ball Z? You ever seen that show? It's kind of awesome. But this isn't Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. In fact, this guy's name is Sean Irwin, and he's actually locked up right now for a beating arrest. I've never even heard of that. Usually it would be called like a malicious wounding or something, and I'm pretty sure that's the charge that this guy got. But allegedly, this guy beat the shit out of another guy, and he was locked up for a beating arrest. You could have fooled me. This guy looks like he's probably pretty damn drunk, and there's a good possibility that he was when he did get in this fight, where he allegedly beat the hell out of somebody else, and because of that, this other person was actually hospitalized uh, due to their injuries. Now, I do realize that first one wasn't as fun or interesting as some of these others will be. I only wanted to include that one because of the Gohan Dragon Ball Z uh, resemblance that I saw right there. I hope you guys saw that as well. But let's go ahead and move on to this next individual. I can promise you this one will most certainly be a lot more interesting. Now, looking at this guy, I really want you to just think to yourself, what do you think this guy is locked up for? In his mugshot here, this guy looks to be absolutely obliterated, trashed, drunk beyond anything sober that you could ever possibly imagine. So I'm thinking maybe a DUI, I'm thinking maybe a drunk in public, but I do have to assure you that this guy is charged with something a hell of a lot more serious than that. In fact, this guy's name is Daniel Perkins. This guy is actually facing two counts of possession with intent to distribute heroin and not just selling these drugs, but he was actually smuggling these drugs into a jail. And because of that, this guy is facing 40 years in prison plus a $300,000 fine. And I'm not really sure that the fine is any bit relevant in this guy's case at all because, again, this guy is facing 40 years in prison for trying to bring heroin and also cocaine, it said uh, in the article, into a jail. And while reading the article about this guy, Daniel Perkins, it said that it wasn't just a little bit of drugs at all. In fact, 
it was a lot. And one thing that you can rest assured of is that if anyone is ever caught trying to smuggle drugs into a jail, a prison, anything along those lines, they are going to try to bury those people when they go to court. As is with this guy Daniel Perkins who now faces 40 years in prison for bringing these drugs into a jail. This next individual is just as interesting as the last, if not even a little bit more. In fact, let's take a look at this guy's mugshot. Oh my God, is that Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight? And no, it isn't. Actually, it is a guy who got locked up a few months ago here in Virginia in a far off area from where I am. And this guy was actually arrested because he had his face painted up like the Joker. And in the state of Virginia, that is considered wearing a mask. And one thing that you cannot do here is wear a mask in public. Because if you do and somebody calls the police on you, you can be arrested for wearing a mask in public, which is a felony charge and carries up to one year in prison. At the time of this article, this guy was arrested and being held on like a $2,000 bond and faces up to one year in prison for painting his face like the damn Joker. They really got some dumbass laws, if you ask me. I mean, I can understand putting a ski mask on and going inside of a 7-Eleven. And in no way am I trying to promote such a thing. But I can understand a little better the police arresting a person and charging them with wearing a mask in public if that was the case. But for the love of God, this guy has his face painted uh, like the Joker from The Dark Knight. And he faces up to one year in prison because of this. Let's go ahead and look at this next guy right here and just by looking at this guy's mugshot, really just think to yourself, what is this guy locked up for? He almost kind of looks like he may be some sort of a mob boss or something along those lines. But in my mind, I'm thinking he's probably not a mob boss at all and more so, he's probably some sort of a fucking sex offender. And wouldn't you know it, that's exactly what this guy is locked up for. In fact, this guy was actually arrested for sex trafficking through a Sugar Daddy website. Now, I've never heard of this Sugar Daddy website and I have no idea what this is about at all. But it seems from what I've read in this article about this individual right here, this guy certainly got jammed up in a major way. In fact, this guy was actually caught in a hotel room with a 14-year-old girl that he paid money to for family-friendly content here on YouTube. But yeah, this guy was caught in a hotel room with a 14-year-old girl and he's now facing sex charges because of that. And I guess he met this girl off of a Sugar Daddy website. And because this guy does have sex charges and he's probably going to prison for these crimes, you can rest assured that his time, it's going to be kind of bung bung. He's going to see a lot of bung bung during his time in lockup. As he should. Because even if he didn't know that this girl was 14 years old, let's just say hypothetically he didn't know. Let's say that he really did think that she was 18 or however old she said she was, 21, whatever. There's no way in hell you're going to sit here and be able to tell me that you cannot look at a person and say, that girl right there, she 14 years old, man. She 14. She ain't no 18 and she ain't no 21. That girl 14, I don't care what she say. Show me your ID, girl. Show me the ID. Because in the article, it said that, you know, this girl told the guy, hey, she told me she was 18. You're like 60 damn years old. You've been around the block. You're Jenny from the block, for God's sake. You should know the difference between what looks like it's 14 and what, you know, looks like it's an adult. Just my little two cents right there. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Now let's take a look at this guy right here. At first glance, you're going to look at this guy, at least I looked at him, and I'm thinking, this guy looks like, you know, he may have just got caught up in something that he didn't do. He actually looks like he potentially could be innocent. This man in this picture right here looks like an innocent person to me. And I really want to know what you think this guy looks like. Maybe people who appear to look like they're innocent are maybe the most heinous people ever. What do you think? Do you think that at all? Well, if you do, then you are absolutely right because this guy right here is a stone cold killer. He's a freaking monster. In fact, his name is William Morva, and in 2006, he was arrested for attempted armed robbery, I think is what it was, and while in the jail, he was being transported, I believe, to a hospital where he overtook a deputy in the van, stole the gun from that deputy, and then bung bung, bung bung, killed two different deputies before going on the run. 
He was later apprehended, put back in jail. Now imagine you're sitting in jail on an attempted armed robbery. An attempted armed robbery is probably going to carry somewhere around 10, maybe 20 years at the most. But now you've turned that potential 10 or 20 years into, well, capital murder, which does carry the death penalty. And in fact, they are trying to give this guy the death penalty just in, I think, like one month. They want to give him the death penalty in July. And the crazy thing is, is when I look at this picture of this guy, I mean, he looks like a spitting image of Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber 2. You see the resemblance right there? Jim Carrey, Stone Cold Killer, Jim Carrey. The resemblance is uncanny. I'm telling you folks, you can really never judge a book by its cover. Now looking at this next picture, I want you to think to yourself, what do you think this guy right here is locked up for? As I look at this guy, I can only think to myself, this guy actually does look like a stone cold killer. In fact, this guy looks like he's murdered entire families out in the free world. I would be scared to death to run across a guy like this because at first appearance, I'm thinking this guy is a psychopath. And if you yourself out there are thinking that this guy did actually kill well, then you're right. But the crazy thing about it is he didn't actually kill people. He was arrested and charged with killing pigs. Yes, I, I'm being serious. He was actually arrested. Uh, this is one of two individuals. I don't know why they don't have the other mugshot up here. But these guys were actually arrested and charged with slaying pigs at an SPCA. I didn't know they had pigs at the SPCA. I, I, I really did and also they avoided jail time by pleading guilty to lesser charges. I really want to know what the lesser charge of killing a pig is. And I just found it. It says that these guys were found guilty of killing livestock and misdemeanor animal cruelty. How in the fuck do you get misdemeanor animal cruelty from killing an animal? I'm quite sure it shouldn't be a misdemeanor and it really should be a felony if you're out there killing pigs. I love animals. I really do. And they were found not guilty of felony theft of livestock. They were stealing pigs too. Uh, they face a $500 fine each plus their court cost, but no jail time for killing pigs. Damn unfortunate. RIP in peace or pieces to those pigs they killed. Uh, this is the last person that I want to show you about. This is not going to be a funny one at all. We're going to keep this one serious because this one is just absolutely unfortunate, tragic, and very just messed up. But go ahead and take a look at this guy's mugshot right here and just think to yourself, what do you think this guy did? With what I've mentioned thus far, uh, you can probably imagine that it's something pretty damn serious. And in fact, it actually is. This guy was actually just sentenced to 11 years in prison for giving his wife the heroin that she overdosed and died on. It's a really crazy situation. While reading the article, I found that uh, this guy and his wife were both heroin addicts. He had said that, you know, he never wanted his wife to die or anything like that. But he did give his wife the heroin that she shot up, overdosed, and ultimately died from. Uh, when the police came into the house, this guy called 911. The police came. They said they found heroin needles everywhere. I think they said they found like 20 needles. They had two children in the house, I think 10 and 12 years old. And the authorities said they could not even find any clean clothes in the house for these children. Really unfortunate, fucked up situation right here. Really do want to hear your thoughts and also opinions on this situation, as is with all of these other people that we have mentioned in this video. And with that, I'll just go ahead and wrap this video up. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about all of these different cases that we've mentioned here. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!